In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to animate a rabbit playing with rattles in Apple Motion 5 without using any third-party plugins. Let's start with the character's body. We're going to animate this character within 16 frames, starting from frame 10. By starting from frame 10, we'll have some space at the beginning to offset keyframes later. If we start from frame 0, when we offset keyframes, the keyframes will go outside of the timeline, and it'll be harder for us to view and make any changes if needed. We'll start with creating the main movement of the rabbit's body. Let's add three keyframes for the body's X and Y position, Z rotation, and X and Y scale like this. Then add two extra keyframes for the scale and position. Increase these two Y position keyframe values and decrease these three keyframe values to create the up and down movement for the body. Then decrease the X position's second keyframe value to make the body go backward. And increase the first and third keyframes values to make it go forward at these two keyframes. At the second keyframe when the body moves backward, we'll decrease the rotation keyframe value to rotate the body forward. And increase the rotation's first and last keyframe values. Make sure all keyframes interpolation is set to Bezier. Then add repeat before the first and after the last keyframe to all animated parameters. After applying curve extrapolation methods to our animated parameters, we'll use the graph editor to adjust each and every parameter's keyframes to achieve a smooth animation for the rabbit's body. Let's offset these scale keyframes by selecting them all and moving them one frame forward. Then offset the scale Y one more frame forward. After having the main body's movement, we'll continue with the head. The head is going to move in the opposite direction to the body. 
we'll keyframe the head's X and Y scale, Z rotation, and Y position. At this frame, the head will rotate backward. And it will rotate forward at these two keyframes. As you can see, the head should be moving in the opposite direction to the body like this. Make sure all keyframes are set to Bezier. Then add some up and down movement to the head by keyframing its Y position. Then edit the graph editor to smooth out our animation. The body is scaling up and down a little too much. Let's decrease these scales keyframe values to reduce their amplitude. Let's go back to the head group and keyframe its scale. We'll only need to make the head scale up and down slightly. Again, add repeat before first keyframe and after last keyframe to the head's animated parameters. When a character moves, some parts of their body move at different rates than others, some move first and others follow behind. This gives lifelike complexity to the character's movement. We'll need to offset the head's keyframe so that the head and main body don't move at the same time. To animate the ears, we'll keyframe their Z rotation based on the head movement.
Make sure to select repeat before the first keyframe and after last keyframe to the ear's Z rotation keyframes. Then move the right ear's keyframes 2 frames forward, and the left ear's keyframes 3 frames forward to offset them. Let's add some subtle movement to the rabbit's face. We'll copy the up and down movement of the head to the face. Offset the face by moving it one frame forward. Then add repeat before first keyframe and after last keyframe. Let's increase the face's Y position keyframe's amplitude. To animate the arms, we'll keyframe their Z rotation. We'll make the left arm move up higher than the right arm. As the right arm is in front of the face, we don't want the right arm to move up too high because it will cover the right eye like this. The arms movement is too exaggerated at the moment. We'll need to reduce their keyframes amplitude.
Offset the arms and select repeat before first keyframe and after last keyframe for both arms Z rotation keyframes. Let's make some small changes to both arms keyframe curves to randomize their motion. We'll continue with animating the rattles. Simply copy the left arm main group's Z rotation keyframes to the left rattle group. Then reduce the rattle's keyframe's amplitude. Do the same to the right rattle. Next, we'll animate the tail. Copy the right arm's Z rotation keyframes to the tail. Then reduce the tail's keyframes amplitude. Make sure to add repeat before first keyframe and after last keyframe. Also, don't forget to add repeat before first keyframe and after last keyframe to the rattle's Z rotation. Then flip the tail's rotation keyframes and offset them. To animate the legs, we'll need to keyframe their scale and rotation. Let's start with the right leg first. We'll copy the body's X position keyframes to the right leg's Z rotation. The right leg is moving in the opposite direction to the body, so we have to drag his keyframe up like this. We also need to add a little change in the leg's length when it's rotating. So we'll keyframe its Y scale.
Let's place the right leg's anchor point here so that the leg doesn't look like it's jumping when we keyframe its Y scale. After finishing the right leg, we'll do the same to the left leg to animate it. After our character is animated, we'll continue with the shadow to add some depth to our character by keyframing its X and Y scale. Simply copy the body scale keyframes and paste them onto the shadow. Then increase their amplitude to make the animation more noticeable. Let's add some sparkles and burst lines to our animation to make it more eye-catching. To animate the burst lines, first, we'll set their start point. Right-click the control point closer to the rabbit, and select Set Start Point. Then keyframe the line's first point and last point offset to make them burst out.
To animate the sparkles and circles, we'll keyframe their scale and opacity. It's a time-consuming and tedious task, but we just need to animate a sparkle and a couple of burst lines, then copy and paste their keyframes to other sparkles and lines. Let's change the project's duration to 2 seconds so it's easier to view our animation. Then offset burst lines and sparkles to randomize them. and we've finished our animation. The project files of this tutorial are available to download on our website. For more information about our Motion 5 project files, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching. If you like our tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. See you in the next video.